Well, I think for people who are in the field, it's very um, reinforcing of the experience you're having. You get to look at what teaching is like and you're reminded, because as they say in the movie, in the moment you forget what you're doing. And you, you're so immersed in dealing with the kids and the struggles of the kids and how they're struggling to learn. Or, you know, in this movie, they're all struggling. The kids, a lot of the kids we saw were struggling. And you're so caught up in that, and you get so caught up in the moment that you forget that there's a bigger picture out here, that you are changing and shaping these kids' lives for the better, for the future. And, and that's the piece I think is very reaffirming to people who are teachers. For those who are pre-service coming in, it's so exciting because it not only scare them a little bit and say, look, this is what you have to deal with, but it's the reality of the job. It's the reality of what you're going to have to do. And yet at the same time, they watch the perseverance of the teachers over the course of a year and realize it's not one week, it's not two weeks, it's not 10 weeks, it's not 25 weeks. It's 36 weeks you're working with these kids and you forge a relationship that maybe will last a lifetime. And that's powerful. I remember watching Stan Deliver in 1988 when it came out, and I went back and then read the story. You were very young at the time, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I was teaching. That was just, and, I threw and, that one uh, your way. Uh, thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, and I remember at that time going back and reading Jaime Escalante's story because I thought this movie is really inspirational. Let me see about the real man behind it. That was an even better story. You know, the movie yeah. was good, but the story was even better. Of course. And I said, wow, if you can do this there, you can do this anywhere. Anybody can teach well if they have the desire and the skill set and the preparation for it. So, you know, when people often say, oh, I was born to teach. <laughs> You're not. You have to learn to teach. And right. sometimes the journey is, is hard. And, and, well, for everybody it's hard. And it's torturous. And it twists and it turns. And you heard them talking as they talked. Yeah. Some of them are new teachers and some, are, some said, I thought about stopping, quitting, changing. And, and even Shelby tonight said she took a break and then realized, what am I doing? I need to go back to teaching. Right. So. Well, and the message is you do what it takes to help kids learn. Okay, it's very simple. You have to do whatever it takes to get a kid to learn. If you have to stand in your head to make it happen, it has to happen. <laughs> the bottom line is, is that we know that kids don't learn very well without engagement. If they're not engaged in the task at hand, if there's not a reason for them to learn, if they can't see why this is important and how this connects to a bigger picture, then it's not really going to be very helpful. When I'm working with secondary ed teachers, I tell them all the time, I say, your curriculum, the stuff you teach, the what that you teach, is, is the vehicle that you're teaching about life, mm -hmm. the bigger picture. And, and they really, oh, I didn't think about it. You know, they're caught in the, I have to teach these verbs these, mm -hmm. and, and so on. And so they're caught up in that moment. They don't realize that there's a much bigger picture. I think when you see a movie like this, you realize that even with all that, there's a bigger picture to consider and that you really are changing lives. And that's pretty exciting. You know, there's no question about that. That's pretty exciting. Uh, and that's why I got in teaching, because I wanted to help kids have more choices, have more opportunities, do better. And I really felt like the age group I liked, which was middle schoolers, nobody else really wanted to teach. And so that's why I wanted to teach them. It's because it was a, it's a tough time. And those kids need allies and friends, and, and they also need teachers who really are going to push them, care about them, as you saw in the movie, care so much that you won't let the kids fail. And that's, that's a hard thing sometimes to teach people. And you sometimes learn that through experience in the classroom. It takes time.